Hey guys, it's Roger one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. I am a little bit out of breath, right? Because when I record, I shut my door, I lock the door, uh, so no one can disturb me, and I'm focused then on the video. But if I've got a dog in the room, I need to get the dog out, okay? Because we've got a few dogs where I live, and if someone turns up uh, to my house, the dogs go crazy and go and bark at them, like all dogs do. But if they're in the room, I mean, it's quite disturbing because they want to get out and then they hit the door and they're barking and it disturbs the video this dog did not want to get out today he was like nope i'm comfy i'm asleep i promise i won't disturb you and i'm like nope come on you gotta come out because if someone turns up you're gonna want to go and see them and he's like no i don't want to <laughs> so i had to carry him out and he's not a small dog so i've stuck him on the sofa in the other room and he'll be fine i love this area of the map how cool does that look and i think this oil rig boat or, or the container oil rig boat that's what we're doing today this container boat is one of my favorite sort of standalone builds i think in the city like just on its own it's so simple it's not that big you know the cranes aren't all that detailed but it just gets the job done and looks really cool we're going over this way today in fact i put down a little uh waypoint just so i don't have to fly out there Boop. okay so we're not that far obviously there's the boat that we were just at but i can't go too much further this way because if you look on the little mini map in the top right hand corner oh that right there that green is actually land and that is like the border of our city so we're going to do the oil rig around about here so i don't know an awful lot about oil rigs let's turn these shaders off i don't know an awful lot about them uh but i have built one before and i, I think it turned out okay last time that we done one and I've done a load of research on images of different oil rigs. And one thing that I got from researching pictures of them for inspiration for the build is that none of them are the same. You can be as crazy and as wacky with oil rigs as you like. There, there's no formula to it. Like with a house, you know, you've got the walls and you've got the window and you've got the door and the roof. And that's a house. But with an oil rig, you can have one leg, you can have four, you can have six, you can have eight, you can have one layer, you can have five layers, you can have a crane, you can not have a crane, you can have helipads, you can not have helipads. It, it's really open to whatever we want to do. Now, this isn't going to be a... We might use clay, I think. This isn't going to be a one or two episode build. Uh, this is going to be done over the course of... I, I'm estimating... I don't know five to seven episodes so we'll do like two episodes we'll go away we'll come back we'll do another five two or so episodes we'll come back uh, until it's done just so we don't get stuck doing the same thing all the time let's do a hollow cylinder oh i need what's that 15914 hollow cylinder of uh let's try five for the moment one and 15914 huh 15914 five one Oh, two slashes. There we go. <laughs> I got it. Uh, I think that maybe is a little bit too big. Whoops. Let's go a little bit smaller. And do. Uh, let's go four. I'm going to do a four-legged one. One, two, three, four, or something like that. So we're just going to build one up first and go from there. So I want the legs to be a little bit interesting. So we're going to go with four blocks high. And then I'm going to go up to this level find that middle point i use a lily pad if you don't know lily pads are a great way to build out in the ocean because you can't place blocks on water but if you need to you can place a block on the lily pad and it gives you like a starting point so it's a really like almost like a cheaty way to be able to do it uh now i'm going to change up to stone though so we're going to change this to stone and i'm going to change that in to go a little bit smaller and we're going to change that to three okay so we've gone a little bit smaller now like this and uh, we'll sort of terraform that up a little bit in a moment. Well, not terraform. We'll just fill up all the holes. Then we're going to go back to red. 59, 14. And let's go up for 7. Okay. So I was looking at like different colours that were used in the builds uh, for, oil ta for oil rigs. And yellow was a common colour for legs. Uh, and uh, and grey was a common colour for legs. But I think a red one would look really cool i think that's like actually a pretty good height for us to start on. and the gray in the middle here is just to break up a little bit of color make it look a little bit more interesting 
when it's all up it just it just breaks the leg up a little bit and we've got a little bit big at the bottom so uh, it looks a little bit more sturdy let's think of a platform now okay if we go out let's find out how far we're going to go let's get a, a lighter gray for like our platform clay will be perfect i think a nice sort of light gray just make sure that we need to get this block in line with the very corner which is going to be this one here and then we can work out how far over the uh, legs we want the corner to be. So I think that would probably be about right. If we put this corner in here. Yeah. I mean, I've got a couple of images up of oil rigs on my other monitors. And I think that's cool. I think we're going to go with like a three or four layered one. But these layers aren't really all that impressive. They're basically like big empty layers. Uh, I can't see images of inside them. And because they're all different, I never really know what I'm looking for. So let's let's extend this down this way a little bit. Giving us um, a little preview on that mini-map is a really good thing. Because it gives us some sort of idea on scale. If we had one leg there and one leg there. You know, that doesn't feel that off of a size. Let's go like a couple more blocks. Let's go like one, two, three, four, five more blocks. And I feel like that is a pretty good distance between the legs for the height. I mean, it's nice and high off the ground, this one. This will have to be a helipad one because of the height of it. Let's grab our wand. I wonder if we can do this in a in a really cool way to do like the border as well as we go if we do that and i go down and i keep underneath that one ish we do that one and i click that and i delete it and then if i go up in this corner this could be a really cool way of doing it i don't know if it's going to work we go copy and we go rotate 90 and then i sit on this corner and I go paste. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a better way to do it. Undo. Paste minus A. That keeps that then solid. And then we ro oops, redo. I wanted to rotate it. Rotate it again and go and stand on this corner. And paste. And then rotate again. There we go. Loading. And paste so we've got the four legs in straight away i think that's a good distance between it now i think I, I i might be right in saying that these four legged ones means the drill goes down the middle i think the ones that have one big leg that sort of floats up uh the drill goes down that i think or it might be that i, I think on some of them uh the drills go down the four legs maybe i don't know i think i think i'd be right in saying something like that so let's grab well i could probably fill that in actually with clay now that would probably be the best way give us a nice big platform to work on so we're not floating in air uh set clay and then let's do a different color up here so let's maybe do this one in the stone that i've got in my hand so we'll do that one to that one and we'll set that to stone. I want this bottom platform to be a little bit thicker. It's the bottom one, you see. And then we'll do another one of clay. So we'll sort of sandwich it like a, a backwards Oreo. Like an inverted Oreo. So they have the, the black one in the middle and the, and the two lighter ones on the outside. I don't like Oreos. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that would be a nice sort of base platform that we can then build from. Now around here... On a lot of the images that I saw that I want to try and replicate, they, we have like iron bars. Like a fence, basically. But iron bars are perfect for this. That go around the entire perimeter, okay? And then we have uh, like uh, pillars that go up. We're going to want to use maybe um, yellow. Could be cool. Get some yellow going on in here. And then these pillars hold up the next floor. These floors don't need to be particularly high. Uh, from what I can tell, they're just like a little bit taller than a person. So I'm thinking either three or four blocks. I think that's a nice distance. And then we'll put another platform. 
that starts here and goes across and these platforms can start can either be like maybe even one block thick because these are just sort of the the middle ones now i think there is a command that i could do to make these go just around the outside right is it the walls command i never use it whoops walls what do i what happens if i say walls walls iron bar <laughs> <laughs> oh the things you learn right so we do another one of these it's gonna be a tall one this one i want to build a nice tall one it's, it doesn't necessarily have to be that big but we can build up like as far as we want so we set that to clay already that is looking really really cool these pillars i mean we, we definitely want them in the four corners right so we'll have one there. We'll have one there. Lighting glitch. There we go. And one here. But that isn't really enough. That looks a little bit weak, doesn't it? So if we go to the do we have we do we actually have a middle point? I never really I never really thought. There's an easy way that we can calculate it. We'll click that one and we'll click this one. And we'll go copy. 43 blocks which means we will have a middle point um because we want 20 basically if i do that and that we want 21 written on there to here a uh, four huh that one oh yeah of course it will because it's i've taken the air ones as well copy 21 and this one just to double check make sure that we're right 21 which means that this one in the middle is exactly in the middle of those two posts okay uh and then we should have a middle between there and there as well i should be able to count this out by hand though now one two three four five six seven one two three four five six okay i don't have a middle point i don't because that's further in so maybe we could go one, two, three, four there. One, two, three, four there. One, two, nope. Move that in. We'll have five there. Five there. No, I need to go the other way. That one. So it's one, two, three block. One, two, three, four. You know, that'll be fine. That's spaced out enough. We'll take these. I need to do it on this side. One, two, three. One, two, three. That one. And one, two, three. That one. Uh, there, I think. Am I right? Uh, copy. Go over here. Now, this is the hard part. This will get a lot easier uh, in a moment. You watch. So, we'll do 90. Paste. So we're just putting these in but like i said this is this is just the difficult part of just getting it initially sort of started okay paste okay now in the middle there that's really up to us we're going to need a staircase to get up to each floor all that kind of jazz but what i'm thinking now is we just grab this one and we go over to this side and we grab that one. I go down here. I'm going to just take that away so I can stand on this properly. And I'm going to copy. And then I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to paste. And I'm going to go up here. And I'm going to paste. And there we have our three levels. Oh, that looks cool, right? Now, I think we might want to have like a, 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 an even smaller red pillar going up through them. I think that would be cool. Like if we just made it a little bit smaller to fit into that spot, that would be amazing. Oh, that looks cool. And then on top of this uh, is going to be the business end where we've got like the crane and uh, uh, the mast. And the, usually the end of the mast is on fire. I don't know what it's called, but they, they, it's usually like a flame going on the end of it. We'll have a helipad somewhere up here as well. And uh, I think it'll be really cool. 
Now, something that they do have on basically all of the all oil rigs is they have a section that pokes out. So I'm going like the second block wider than that pole, which will be this one. And uh, they just have these sort of sticking out sections. Uh, find a set clay. And then these usually pin down onto one of these. I don't know which one we're going to do. I mean, it looks like that one will probably be good enough. Stair. We'll use this one. It's a slightly different gray. It should work for us. Maybe that one. That one. Uh, I might go out a little bit. Yeah, that one should be good. That one, that one. That one. That one. So I'm placing upside down ones when I'm facing this way. And right way up ones when I'm facing that way. And we end up with a... Like a... Uh, brace is the best word for it. That one. 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 Uh, that one. And that one. So now that looks like that could hold its own weight there. Absolutely fine. Uh, what else do we want? Uh, there's usually like one or two of these. Like we can put another one slightly out to the side here. The helipad is usually overhanging on a corner. I've noticed. So if we go, I don't know. Let's go up by a couple of blocks. We don't need to go up by that much. We'll sort of go here, I think, would be a good spot. And we'll do um, probably stone, so it's darker. We'll go hollow. Uh, we'll do a cylinder of um, stone five by one. Uh, I should probably drop down, actually, shouldn't I? So it always sits here on top of it, and I don't want that. I have one. Just, just nicely floating. Just one block above, we can then build it down nicely. That should be big enough for a helicopter. If we grab a Flans helicopter, which is the ones that we sort of always use. Uh, let's grab a big one. I mean, if a big one sits on it, we should be fine with a smaller one. Oops. I never know which, one, which way these face. I mean, that's a little bit like small for it isn't it um let's go underneath here again is that the middle that's not the middle that, that's the middle <laughs> and let's extend this to be instead of five let's do seven okay uh now We'll put a yellow ring around here, just to make it more helipad-like. Once we've added a couple of blocks around the side here, it'll be plenty big enough. So now workers and stuff can easily get on here. Do I want to go with a white around the edge of this as well? No, nah, it's going to blend in too much. I might go back to another grey. Do I want to make it solid? Probably. So we'll make it so instead of when i say solid it might confuse some of you um it's like my term uh like you've got thin which is where i just go like a block in like i have with this yellow and then i call it solid when i sort of have a solid line that goes around them um it's just a term i i, I use i don't think anybody else <laughs> understands it apart from me just spe it's just thinking out loud is all it is so we'll have this going around the whole thing here and i think now yeah if i actually place this where it would land that's absolutely fine that's like a perfect size for the largest helicopters i mean for, for small helicopters it'll be absolutely no problem uh what way do you want the h to go does it really matter in a h facing this way would probably be good let's find the middle is that the middle that's the middle and then we'll have that one, and that one, and that one, and that one. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Go away, Rain. I think those extended parts are a little bit too long. Let's shorten those up. Hey, maybe they're still a little bit too long. Maybe we go just with that. Yeah, that's better. All right, so there's our helipad. 
uh if we go now i think i can stand on here and we'll do instead of a cylinder we'll do a hollow cylinder and instead of so, uh, stone we'll do iron bars and instead of seven we'll do nine and then we can just add in these ones that it missed out look at that it didn't it didn't place a single one too far out though now we need to wait to get off we'll get a little staircase going down to it and stuff like that but i think we're pretty we're pretty good let's go there and what color do we want on the underside of our helipad so we want something a little different i mean that one will probably be 159.9 uh let's go up here uh 159.9 no not sad face 159.9 uh s eight And that hides up the H underneath. Also sort of just touches it on there a little bit. Uh, and then how are we going to get this to make it look like it's not like weak as under here? Do we... Do something like that. Try and get this one to come out the same way. I mean, yeah, that works. That works quite well. I really like something connecting up to, like down here. But I'm not quite sure how we would do it. We would need to have it something like, well, let's do it in the uh, brace block, which is, I know I used stairs last time over there. So if you use the full block version, and we go something like that. And wherever it sort of connects up, we'll leave it. Oops. Yeah, I think that works pretty well. So now that's sort of properly anchored down. It looks like we can land a helipad or a helicopter on there and it's not going to crush. That's all we've got time for, though, this episode. I think it's a really good start. I think we've got the main shape of it. We've got it, it looking solid. It doesn't look like it's going to fall apart anytime soon. We'll be able to carry on with this next episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe.